Hi, my name is John Corden and I'm desperately trying to start a house fire. Um, anyway, right, so in this video, obviously you know on the channel I use uh, one of these, a Helix HX Stomp, Helix Native, quite a lot of the time. Um, I guess, hopefully you get the idea that I'm not just trying to rip everyone off. Um, and so when you use that buy me a coffee link or the PayPal link to get the Helix presets, hopefully you're getting what you consider to be value for money. Um, you know, that's an ever-growing library of stuff and some of the tones in there hopefully you could find useful. Today, you may or may not know the stuff that I like to go for. I think my lead tone is probably inspired by a few people, John Petrucci being one of them, uh, Eric Johnson being another, Alan Holdsworth being another. Um, those are maybe sort of the three kind of key influences. I think where I differ from John Petrucci the most is that I'd like to use the uh, bridge pickup. Um, whereas typically a lot of his lead tones would have been on the neck pickup um, and obviously I'm predominantly a single coil player but in this video I was using humbuckers on the Sire guitar um, so I just wanted to dig into this and just show you on the screen these uh, aspects that I'm digging um, so first of all I guess I went with the Petrucci style lead and so this is using a Cali 4 the thing that I like about the Mesa Boogie Mark IV is that you don't really need to use a pedal in front of it. It's got quite a lot of gain. You've got two gain stages cascading into one another. The settings that I used for this, um, you've got lead gain on 9.1, uh, lead drive on 8.9. The bass kept fairly low because it's a Mark amp. You don't need it high. Uh, mids at 6.3, treble at 7.3, channel volume all the way up, presence at 5.8. Um, the master volume pretty high there at 8.6, sag pretty high at 8.2 um, and then the EQ is really important here uh, I'm taking the 2,250 down a little bit and boosting 240 uh, for a little bit kind of welly um, then we're using a low high shelf EQ as well so this is going to be pushing things by 8.5 dB um, and then cab wise I'm using a dual cab Cali V30. I tend to use this cab for quite a lot of stuff. Um, on one side we've got the 409 Dynamic and on the other side we've got the 160 Ribbon. Um, and then also a high cut here at 4 kilohertz now and the other side 5.2 because it's a Ribbon mic. Now that's a thing that I do fairly often these high cuts. For these kind of high gain lead tones what I'm looking for is smoothness in the tone and not necessarily kind of fizz elements and by using the uh, cab high cut which is a fairly tame EQ it's uh, minus 6 dB per octave fairly tame slope I mean you can get some really smooth tones like that so the Mark IV you don't necessarily need a pedal in front of it and it's got plenty of sustain plenty of gain so I like to use that one The next one that I used is the Eric Lead Gary. Now this is one of my latest iterations of a preset and 
I'm using the Line 6 litigator here. Now, uh, from the people at Line 6 that I've spoken to, this was inspired by the tone of kind of Dumble, Two Rock, Red Plate. Um, these kind of boutique Fender modded amps is not based on any specific circuit. In fact, it's more based on the end goal and then the, the mods that Ben Adrian himself kind of likes to do in amps or would have preferred to do with that sort of thing. Not based on any real amp, but you know, uh, is there to scratch that double itch. Right, anyway, so litigator settings that I like to use are drive at 9.1, bass here at 5.6, mids at 10, and like with the real, I've had a carrier tone OTS, the treble and presence, they're quite bright amps really if you have those high, sort of, so I like to run those nice and low, so both at zero there, which might look surprising, but again, we're gonna be using kind of high gain, smooth tones. Yeah, so give those settings a try. And then in front of that though, I've got a red squeeze, which is boosting things significantly, so by plus 12 dB, that's a, a real boost into the front of a litigator. And then also I'm using the top secret OD, again, with really high gain settings. You can try turning this on and off, and it does give you a nice sign, kind of lower gain tone. That's in snapshot one, actually. So you could try experimenting with that. This is a Dodd 250 overdrive, but it's got a no real mid bump, which is what's nice about that as a distortion. So it can just push things into a kind of fuzzy territory. Um, that's what I like about the litigator. It can do that first stuff. And I also then run this high cut fairly low for the Gary Moore one, because I wanted to be using humbuckers with it. I've opened that high cut back up a bit to 6.4 kilohertz. You could take that lower if you're using single coils. It's generally what I like to do higher if not. Then another variation, I've used the litigator twice in this video because I use it so much. We're using more or less the same settings on the amp. Uh, I think even just the same settings and the same settings on the top secret OD, same settings on the red squeeze. But the idea here was to take the sound of humbuckers and make them more like single coils. And so for this, uh, I've got some EQing going on. Um, I won't go into exactly what's going on, but we're shelving off some lows and I think also boosting some of the highs. So there's two EQ blocks doing that. So if you want to check out that preset, it's in my folder, the Eric HP2 Sing, but it's a variation on that same litigator preset, but I've got the high cut down where I would usually have it with single coils, which is 3.9 kilohertz. Now open that back up, I would suggest for humbuckers, more like the Eric Lee Gary one. Um, or depending on how you're finding it sounding, um, you know, if your speakers are quite bright, you may want to even take it further the other way. But don't be too shy with these high cuts with high gain tones, I think. If you're going for what I like, where it's a smoother tone, you know, less of the kind of bright shrill stuff and more of the um, mids and the singing kind of saxophone tones, uh, then that high cut is really useful. <laughs>
last of all, and this is not necessarily one I expected to like so much, but the PV5150. Now I'll just show you some of the settings that I like for this. I believe we're using Snapshot 2. So the drive I have at 5, the bass at 5.6, the mids I've pushed to 10, the treble is at 5, the presence is at 1.5, the master is at 4, sag is at 2.5, and the bias I've turned down to 0, I think. The resonance is all the way up at 10, so the resonance is really what's going to give you the low end body to your tone. So if you want less of that and you want less kind of mud, you could take that back the other way. This is a lead tone and I'm playing a bridge pickup, so it's okay for me that there's plenty of body to it. In front of that, I'm using a tube screamer with gain at 4.4, tone at 5, the level at 7.9, so we're pushing the level into the front of the amp as well. We've also got a low high shelf where I'm pushing 150 hertz by 8.6. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to play rhythm guitar on this, but for lead it kind of works. And then we're using the Cali V30 with a 160 ribbon on one side, high cut at 4, and then on the other side a 1x12 with a 409 dynamic, high cut at 4. So those four tones are ones that I really like the sound of. Um, I've just been messing around with them in the DAW, kind of different flavours but the same end goal where it's this really satisfying to play smooth singing thick lead tone with a bridge pickup. All of these will work with humbuckers or single coils, there's enough gain there that you should be able to I think play them pretty well. Make sure you're not sat too close to your screen, they will be noisy if you are with single coils. Um, for me I record sort of two meters away from the screen when you see these videos that's why there's less noise than if you are sat right here. You can also take those gains down if you need to, of course. Um, but those are kind of my favorite amps, I think, for this kind of singing lead tone. The Cali 4, Mesa Boogie Mark 4, you don't really need uh, the lead channel of that. You don't really need any pedals in front of that. The Litigator, the kind of, once you push that and start feeding the front end of it with some real gain, you get some really singing kind of lead tones out of that. And then the 5150, which I guess would have been the amp of choice for a lot of uh, metal players, but also I think you see quite a lot of these people like Pliny um, and Nolly and these folks using potentially 5150s for the more modern kind of metal tones and periphery as well. And also the kind of singing leads still come from those amps, I find. So if you boost the mids into that with the Tube Screamer and then dial the mids and dial out some of the kind of harshness you can get some really thick singing sustaining lead tones out of those two. Hopefully that's useful information. I'll put these four tones back to the top of the folder, the 3.15 folder if you want to find them and hopefully there's something in there if you're looking for this kind of tone and uh, I think this should be replicatable on PodGo as well. If you want me to try that I'll have a go, just leave a comment and thank you for stopping by. Cheers!